Let's talk about bail. Hi, I'm Kerry Steigerwald of Sevens Legal. You've been arrested, you've been put in jail, you're behind bars, but you gotta get out. You got obligations, you got children to take care of, you got work you've gotta perform. How do you get out of jail? Well, the simple answer is post in bail, but it's not such a simple answer. It depends. Have you been arrested for a felony offense, a misdemeanor offense, a federal offense? Because there's a big difference between posting bail and making bail arrangements in a federal court than it is in a state court. At this point in time, I'm just going to talk to you about state court because federal court is a whole different animal in posting uh, bail conditions. So in state court, when you get arrested, um, the first thing you think of is going to a bail bondsman. Why? Because whatever the bail amount is on your case, typically people don't have that amount. The bail amount, lowest bail amount, usually $25,000, um, but more typically $50,000. If you're arrested on a felony, the typical low bail is $50,000, and most people don't have $50,000 lying around. So you go to a bail bondsman, and the purpose of going to a bail bondsman is the bail bondsman will assume that $50,000 and post it with the jail and the courts to guarantee your presence. I mean, what's the purpose of bail anyway? Purpose of bail is to assure that you're gonna be there in court when your court case comes. When you're in jail, they know you're gonna get there. If you're not in jail, they need some kind of surety or security to make sure you're gonna be in jail. That's why you use a bail bondsman. So a bail bondsman will say to you, I'll guarantee to the court that you'll be there and I'll post the $100,000 or whatever your bail amount is. And in exchange for that, you usually pay a bail bondsman a percentage of the overall bail amount. The overall bail amount is determined based on what the charges are, how serious they are, um, whether you have a prior record, and the number of charges you have. So whatever the bail amount is, I said $100,000 before, let's work with $100,000. A bail bondsman will say to you, all right, you, I'll get you out of custody today, usually within a 24 hour period of time, but you pay them a percentage of the overall bail, usually seven to 10% bail. Um, if you uh, are fortunate enough to know a good criminal defense lawyer, most good criminal defense lawyers work with one, two, sometimes three different bail bonds agencies. Let me give you an example. Here at Sevens Legal, we use a, two different uh, bail companies, but if I were to tell you, uh, Balboa Bail Bonds is a company that we use quite frequently. Why? Uh, I'll tell you why, because we've got a long-term working relationship with them where they will take a reduction of the normal price for our clients and oftentimes allow them to make payments, which becomes important because when you're arrested, the first thing you think about is how to get out. Oftentimes, uh, you should think about God darn, I gotta get myself one heck of a good lawyer. And so if you have limited funds, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna bail out or are you gonna save those limited funds to hire a good lawyer? And um, bail bonds companies that are good and working with a long established history and relationship with uh, a lawyer or a law firm will work with you and uh, work to get your client out of custody, make payments on the bail amount, and as long as he's security, he's safe in taking the bail bond uh, uh, conditions. He also wants somebody who's bilingual and knows what they're doing. And when I say that, knows the system because when you do bail bondsmen, you know who to go to, who to talk to, how to expedite and get that individual out of custody uh, sooner than otherwise would occur. And that's what Balboa does. That's why we use Balboa. But I'm, I'm just giving you that as an example. You don't have to use Balboa, they're very good, and I'm not endorsing them. What I'm saying is having a relationship with a good bail bonds company is, is a valuable tool in a good lawyer's toolbox. And so the last means by which you can get out of custody uh, and post a bail is by doing a, a property bond with the court. That is long, arduous, requires uh, uh, usually two different uh, assessments of the property and uh, isn't, isn't really effective in getting you out of custody early. But that's really what's gonna happen if you get arrested and you need to get out of custody, you're gonna post a bail with a good, reputable bail company. And let me leave you with one last thought on bail. When you are arrested, 
you have to be brought up to court within a certain period of time. It's typically 72 hours. And it might be a wise decision on your part to get a good lawyer involved before your court appearance that's gonna occur the next day or two days from here because that lawyer has a realistic expectation of convincing a judge to lower your bail amount. See, you're arrested on one bail amount and it's determined on how serious the charges are, how many charges, and your criminal record. The judge at your arraignment can lower or increase that bail amount and a good lawyer is gonna know, hey, bail out now before we get in front of the judge and the judge raises it. Or, you know what, if you can bear staying in custody one more night, we'll be in front of the judge and I bet you I can reduce your bail from 100,000 to 50,000 and then that's gonna save you money. So it's another consideration.